can get a couple more of these corpses. Yeah, get some good piss going there. Hmm. That door seems to be blocking the way to that tower that's essentially a giant penis. These graphics are uh, pretty next gen. That thing almost looks like a tree. Now I started pissing in a hole somewhere around here. There we go. And who are you? Huh? Who are you? Oh, a fan, maybe. I have a hard time with people, but I'm glad you came to see me anyway. Let me know if you want anything signed. Is there anything behind my house? I don't think I checked, did I? Oh, there's another piss hole. I haven't quite figured out the point of pissing in the toilets yet. Hey, man. Let's plant some bones. Over here, we'll plant a seed. And here we'll plant some meat. And here we'll plant some crumbs. I need to get some more piss if I want to plant these and make these grow. Ah, some bones. You got zero bones. It's locked. A note lodged in the door says, Rob Lee X Spot. I have been in this crypt for two weeks, and still no sight of Dendiga. These passages may be difficult to navigate, but I will find Dendiga if it takes me the rest of my life. Help me, I've been stuck in here coding for EA. Safety! It's like a giant cigarette. Ah, these holes. Sorry, mate. Ooh, treasure chest. Never fear, please. Well, let's try jumping down one of these, see if it takes us somewhere a little bit different. No. We are in uh, programming the hell. But since we didn't explore this that well last time, let's see, uh... Oh, it's Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. Shigimi Moto. Hey, man! Welcome to my office! Some very exciting things are <laughs> happening in Nintendo headquarters these days. Would you like to play our new hit game, man? Go, go, Hell Go Force 5? No? Well, maybe someday we can chat some more. Hope you're having fun here. Oh, giant nerd. So what's your story? Staplers? Cliffy B? Yeah, see you later. Video game hell is kind of interesting. The only ironic thing is it looks a lot like normal video game life. By video game life, I mean the average programmer's office. Hmm. Funny how that works. I don't think I've talked to you yet, have I? Who are you? I can't up very net. I think that's the... one of the... the maker of this game. Yeah, that is. Stuck here in developer hell. Well, see you guys later. Good luck with Mass Effect 3. Me. I 
I guess these would spawn. Hamburgers. Have you seen the goddess? Putting the shoes. Greetings, traveler. It's good to see you again. Familiar face in these crypts is a rare sight indeed. <laughs> Still no Gendigas, though. I think he's around the corner, guys. But, you know, whatever. Goddess? I came for that, uh, porn DVD? I didn't know what you were for. Piss. You just made me waste my piss, you bastard. I have no idea what I did. But apparently I did infect water with pee. Oh, this is different. Who shut off the lights? So I suppose this game really is... Oh. Yeah, this is a lot different. Fortune tell for one seed. Tape ritual. 150 gold bars. And I've gone for the roof. You're not supposed to be here. Feel to me your secrets. The rooftops of a dead city. Oh man. What the hell is going down? TV head. Spread my form to all raving worms and infest my tunnels. Let them not go to waste now. Does he mean these guys? I must obey. Must turn all the pseudo Americans into TVs. Ah, I see we are worshipping the burger cult now.
must consume. Yes, Shodan wannabe. I will obey and spread consumerism. Holy shit, I've been cyborged. This body, free of flaws, a force against organic decay, will make us one. You must go now on your journey. I have more important places to convert now. Increased physical ability, but I. What? Nah, whatever. <laughs> oh my god, I can hack it. God, we really have become System Shock. So. This happened. Uh, our forms may be broken. We broke it down enough, they become something new. We move from its assigned meaning, something perfect in its way, and you come here to say otherwise. You are worthless here. In your world, we are broken, a shell of ourselves. But here, we are perfect. Going to assimilate all forms, the world will go into us. No escape. Look up. Everything is contained in these points. Every aspect of our being of yours can be viewed as such. Anyway, get out of here. You're gonna be my meditation. Maybe this is what the end of the world is gonna look like. Well, I like you. The people here can be kind of snarky. But if you need anywhere to stay, you're more than welcome to lodge of me. I kinda like the world this way. It's like a techno glitched out nightmare. That makes it kind of cool. What the hell? It's a some kind of it's, a, it's, a, it's like a fucked up Goomba. I have unlimited piss. Fear me. Interesting. Your day is ending here at the stream of my piss. God, I've just I've just doomed this guy to some kind of <laughs> The world has become a cowboy now. Corpses look different too. Howdy, partner. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, 
that's interesting. Seems like the game pretty much wants me to glitch it out on purpose. Meat. Is that where I came from? Maybe I wasn't supposed to glitch out this world exactly. That's interesting. Wait a minute. That hole is new. The truck's moved now. I hope that's not a reference to the damn Mew truck from Pokemon. Oh god, it is Mew. A mystical tape, huh? Oh. Let's see, tape that guy needed. Hey man, come here, hook you up. Go, my piss, go. We need more piss. Under some kind of crypt. <gasps> My God, even the mummies talk like cowboys. Time for platforming games. Ah, bloody hell! Hey, TV, what's going on? Never cowboy. The the golden piss relic. Crap, I almost clipped off the thing. I am the ghost of an archaeologist. At least I think I am. I've been stuck in here like 20 years, so it seemed reasonable to assume I died. Anyway, sorry for the bother. Go ahead. And tips her hat. Oh god, free aren't- what the hell am I do with free aren't piss? Yeah. 
don't wish to. Interesting. And a great. We keep unlocking new worlds, it seems. This is, uh, Windows 95 screensaver world. Complete with rats. And hamburgers. Because that was part of the original, right? Kind of hated brick layout. I preferred the trippy one. A scarab! Oh, damn, it trolled me. For those goats here for a sec. <gasps> so let's see, I think we haven't gone this way. I'm gonna try the coffin after this, and we'll see if we can get- oh, hello there. Sally. Oh my god, all this piss. But I actually can't piss in him, so... <laughs> Nothing even matters. It's called City Runes Alpha, huh? Rats and hamburgers. It's gotta be a goddess relic. Only if I can think of is in this coffin. Not you. You, yeah. There we go. Ooh, that launched me up real high. Uh, it seems like there's nothing after all. Hopsy daisy. Uh. Uh oh. I think, I think it says my journey. <laughs> like, I don't think I was supposed to... I was supposed to jump out of that one. That was... It's not the right thing to do. Oh, Lord. We got a little too ambitious. Well, sadly, due to my... desire to break every level and see if there's any secrets, I have trapped myself in an internal loop of forever falling. So... That ends my journey for now. I know there's multiple endings, and there's definitely more worlds to explore within this game. But due to me essentially losing my save file, that's probably all you're going to see for right now. And I'll come back to this game later, after I've kind of restored my original point in the game. While certainly a strange game... This game reminds me quite a bit of LSD, especially since the graphics are very similar and the style. And they both have a very strong, surreal dream world. Not like a logical one, but a very surreal, disjointed version. It's, but the gameplay is a little more different. It's kind of like, I, I mentioned earlier, it's kind of like Harvest Moon on crack. Because you have the day living thing. So it's more like you're living in this world, and you're kind of living in its kind of rules. And then you're waiting for the end of days, and hopefully trying to stop it, I assume. So all the references in there, like, there's references to some of our games, like System Shock and things like that. Uh, there's probably some form of message. I don't think you're supposed to look too deep into it. There's, like, some, there's some things in there about corporatism and, um, consumerism and all that stuff like that, but I don't think it's entirely designed to be a deep message game that's supposed to convey something to you. It's a it's supposed to be kind of an adventure, a unique one of that. 
It has also some elements remind me a bit of some of the very strange um, Second Life or those kind of type of games. Those worlds people kind of build in them. Uh, there's one that I think that's just, that is actually just called Worlds or something. It has quite a few relics of the past that are very odd, and that's gave me kind of that feeling with uh, exploring those kind of things. Anyway, I'll definitely return to it at a later date, like I said. But for now, this is where my playthrough ends. I recommend uh, everyone go and try it out, see if they can get quite a bit further than me, or see what the bad ending is, which I assume is just outlasting the multiple days. Uh, you didn't see it on screen, but you actually can apparently starve and die. Although this is just sent you to hell temporarily. So this makes just sleeping repeatedly a little more tedious. Anyway, like always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see everybody later.